Hello, welcome back. After a long, long wait, I know, I did it again. It's very sad. Uh, let's fly Kerbal Space Program. Uh, this is the Space Shuttle Development Part 5. Uh, we've got things going, hey, we got new graphics. Look at that. Yeah, it's all pretty stars and nebulae and clouds over the planet. And Yeah, yeah, cool things are happening. Let's get into this start game. I was gone for too long. I do this occasionally, and it always makes me feel bad, but I always do come back. That's about the... I suppose that's the only good thing that I can say about it. Let's get into this, this space shuttle development stuff. And yeah, let's get busy on it, huh? Ah, the space plane hangar, my old friend. Except now, the, even more my old friend. Look at this, we got, we got trucks and kerbals and stuff. I like them. Uh, let's load up. What we I decided I was going to call this thing the Enterprise. Uh, the original, yeah, our first shuttle, that's the Falcon. This one's the Enterprise. Because it always struck me as being sad, is as unfortunate that the actual space shuttle Enterprise never got to fly into space. It was just this test bed for various, you know, flight technologies, and, and it never actually, it never made it. it. Strikes me sad. I'm wondering. I've got next to my game of Kerbal Space Program. I've got to open up. I've I've got a couple of pictures. A couple of two different views of the real-life space shuttle. Remember, we're going for similar dimensions. I think my cargo bay is too long. About that. That looks maybe more reasonable, doesn't it? Put that one there. Even though it is kind of small-ish. But that's that's the you know that's what the real thing is. It is small-ish. All right, Enterprise. We need we need some we need some engines. Okay, so I put together. I went and I made a piece for just specifically for sticking some engine yeah an engine mount here we go stick that thing on there even if it looks like it might be a little bit too long but i believe it'll work for our purposes this is just a structural piece it doesn't hold um yeah it doesn't hold any Oops, hang on here let me set this up parameters because we'll be changing things on it stick it right there for now. Okay, so I'm going to be... We'll want to be changing the mass and the thrust of this thing. Okay, so what's the default mass? Dry mass, 6. So mass, I want my minimum to be 6. Uh, my maximum, I suppose we could go as much as twice as big. Uh, okay, just give us room to play with. Let's go three times as big. 18. And we'll use increments of half, half, half a mass unit or ton. I guess we eventually decided these things use metric tons, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let me see. We also want to get down here into module engines. Nah, min max, current throttle ignition, min thrust, max thrust. Let me see. The default is 1500. Okay, so let's go with our smallest is 1500, and let's do, by, what do we do the other one by 3? Max is 4500, and uh, let's do it in increments of, say, 250. There we go. I like that. Uh, anything else I have to do? Let me see. There was something I was going to do in gimbal, wasn't I? Gimbal angle, because that quite often is very useful. Uh, let's do our minimum of 0 0.5, a maximum of 10, even though I really don't think we'll go that high, and we'll do in increments of 0 0.5. Honestly, I believe, you know, just previous experiment experience with a lot of these designs I bet you're right around five five degrees six degrees that'll probably be about right oh gimbal angle V gimbal range oh I wanted gimbal range didn't I let's play around with this huh okay tweakable parameters let's pull this one out mass um yeah let's get it down to the minimum get this down to the minimum um, this one, I'm actually, I'm going to set it to 5. And I'm going to set this one to 5. Okay, so we have the parameters set up for this big main sail, but I'm not going to leave this thing hanging out there. It's way too long and back. 
First off, allow part clipping, of course. I need to figure out a way to just always have it set in part clipping because I cannot think of a reason why I would not want it. Um, let's go Alt-R, surface attachment enabled. I'm going to attempt to bury this main sail inside of this part. It's kind of fighting with me. She's arguing a little bit. There we go. Oops, runway. I'm going to click up like that. Okay, so let me see the thrust. And that'll point... It actually needs to go for another click, doesn't it? That's one click. Let's go for a second click. Like that. And now it's poking at the bottom. Kind of ugly-like. Now it's poking out the top. Kind of ugly-like. And that is just about perfect. Yep, that works. Okay, so let's see. What's this doing to our center of mass? Center mass is pretty far backwards. Okay. Uh, I'm going to break from the... I mean, we've already broken from the traditional space shuttle design in having just this one large engine like this. Uh, we're going to break from it further in that my OMS engines, I'm not going to put them up here. I'm going to, my OMS engines are going to uh, stick down on the sides like here. Let's turn that off for right now. I've got an idea how to make this look cool. Because in the, the actual space shuttle, it has these two OMS engines that are mounted up high, high, way above the center of gravity, but they're pushed, they're angled downward. And I just don't feel like dealing with that much complication on it. It's, it's not really necessary for what I'm doing, you understand. Okay, let me decide. Let's keep, keep with these guys. That look like, yeah, that looks like it'll clear the... Yeah, the main engine bell just fine, doesn't it? Good. Uh, okay, and to make this part slightly less ugly, as it is kind of ugly at the moment, let's put a little adapter back there. That's starting to look a little more reasonable. Take another look at that center mass. Okay, that's good. Uh, save it. Yeah, there's Enterprise. Um, okay, well, I'm thinking of it. We probably need to do some strong strutting, as this thing's going to be producing a whole bunch of force. So, grab my improved strut connector, exactly the same as a stock strut. It's just stronger. Okay, okay, I'm thinking that there's a strong chance that this is going to work correctly. Uh, let's see if this is going to be using payloads. Let's, while I'm thinking of this, let's put some uh, docking ports inside of there. Turn the mirroring off. Just the stock docking ports. Well, you we want, um, yeah, standard clampatron in back. Good, like that. And we'll put a clampatron junior up in front. There, like that. That'll work. You can fiddle around with it more as required. Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely much smaller than my usual, but remember the, the, the goal here. We're, we're working, gradually working up in size. Uh, and also, I, I want the general profile of this thing to be very similar to the real space shuttle. Okay, now let's think about a landing gear. For, let me see, nose gear for this thing. Here, let's turn it over like this. We'll have my... My uh, just normal size, or actually no, it's it's the medium size retracted gear. Just one of them, thank you. Uh, let me see. There's one trick that I can do. Will it take up? Well, uh, I wonder if I try to do the take right the trick or I attach it in the inside. Will that cause problems for us? Ooh, maybe I can attach it up here. There's an idea. Oh, maybe this might work, huh? Ooh. On. See what that? Wow, oh, that's ugly as hell. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Is this really the medium? 
Yeah, it is. Let me show you. I, w I have still no idea why uh, making a small size of this doesn't work. It'd be so much useful, mo so very useful if it would. Uh, can we afford to take up some space inside the? Yeah, I think we can afford to take up some space inside the cargo bay. Maybe even a little bit more space. Let's drop this thing down a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty close to what I want. Uh, let's t remember the advice that some clever person gave me. Yeah, take the brake off of the nose gear so the thing isn't trying to nose over. There we go. And save it some more. Okay, good. Yeah, that's working. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, uh, we need wings, we need tail fin as well. Let's do the tail fin first. Vertical stabilizer, if you want to be all... Oh, actually, hang on. One other thing while I'm thinking about it. Keep on interrupting myself. <laughs> Give it some power generation. Need some radio... Isotope thermoelectric generators. Let's say let's give him two of them to be all symmetrical like. You like being all symmetrical like, don't you? Yeah, okay. I think I like that. Let's put a light in here. Yeah, like that. So we can see what's happening inside the cargo bay. Let's mirror it over in the other on the other end. Okay, now, tail fin. I don't really see a need to get too fancy with the 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 angling this thing. Uh, with the trying to make it all curvy and stuff. Okay, where's our let's go with the stock standard control surface. It looks like that works fairly well. Okay, more strut on both sides, otherwise it wobbles. Good, this is working, isn't it? Yeah, this is working. You know what, I just realized I need to set up an action group in these engines here. Because I want to be able to hit action group 1, and I want to shut down this main engine. Action, yeah. Shut down the engine, toggle the gimbal so it doesn't wiggle around all over the place. And these things will keep on keep on turning and burning. Uh, also, let me see, I want these to be set up in action group. Uh, probably, uh, I believe, I, hang on, I forget, it's been a while. Start deployed, um, no. You know, let's, let's, from now on, let's work with those all closed up. Let's set those on a four. Start deployed. No. Good. That works. Okay, yeah, that, that's working. Center mass, way back there. Yeah, does it even show us, you know, center lift? We don't really have a center lift, not really. Okay, hang on. Before I go head to the wings, let's do one other thing that I want to do. I want to put the, the air brakes onto the vertical stabilizer. So we'll come back here in the aerodynamics tab. We'll get these two meter control surfaces. Will these work? Do like a surface attach. Yeah, looks, these look to be about the right size. Okay, and that'll be a close approximation. The real shuttle, yeah, the real shuttle has this, uh, uses a split rudder type design. It's it's the, you know, it can, the rudder can be just one piece that moves left to right, or it, it hinges open in the middle. But this will be a an approximation of that. Uh, yeah, functionally pretty much the same. Here, let's put a little light on there. Here, light, here, boy. White Nivlite. There we go. 
You know me, I gotta have my ad my nav lights. Good. Okay, now, enough delaying. Let's put some wings on this beast. 